How's it going, everyone? Uh, it's been a while. Uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing, um, doing a quick review of Rugby 22. Now, one of the last videos on my channel was my review of Rugby 20, which was about two years ago. Um, I'm going to turn the gameplay down because it's going to be pretty loud. But as you can see, we have Antoine Dupont, Dupont, Justin Colby, and Will Skelton. But uh, let me turn the sound down. Sorry about that, it's bloody loud. Um, so, one of the first things I noticed about this game when I was looking at the trailers and everything is that the face scans are looking a lot better for like the well-known players, but the other players, like the backs look a lot like forward still, you know, like their build is weird. Um, and one thing that is pretty disappointing about this game is the, like, the UI, the menu UI, in my opinion, just looks like heaps unprofessional something that's on like a flash game the gameplay from what i've played so far is a lot better than rugby 20 so the gameplay is solid it's something i have to give to the game but another disappointing thing is the amount of licenses that they've lost since um rugby 20 now we've got a quick match they have the nation's trophy which is just like their version of the rugby world cup they have top 14 which is the french uh, first division um, Premier League, which is an unlicensed uh, premiership from the from England in the UK. The URC, which is, you know, Ireland, Wales, Scotland, Italy, and the South African teams that used to be in Super Rugby. Pro D2, which is the uh, French second division. Um, now, for the national teams, they have Scotland, which is licensed. South Africa is not. Tonga is not. USA is not. Wales is. Argentina is not. Australia is licensed, England is not, Fiji is, France is, Georgia is, Ireland is, Italy, Japan, and the All Blacks, um, and Scotland. Yeah, so back to the start. So, uh, let me just grab the game. I've got the disc right here. They've got over 50 official teams, three official leagues, All Blacks, Wallabies, France, Ireland, Wales, Scotland, Japan, Fiji, Ireland, and Georgia are the licensed national teams. Now they've got quick match, online match, training, which has a bunch of training modes, passing, tackling, um, the ruck, scrum, set players, line outs, goal kicks. Um, and the trainings are, when I first got the game were very helpful. So if you're getting the game for the first time, don't know much about rugby, need to know the controls. Um, it's very helpful to go through. Career, you know. Uh, so I was playing some earlier. I made my own team. Um, I won't do this, but you have different matches. You start off in like the third division, then you work your way up, um, earning more points, getting a better team, and making your way up to the top. Um, and like you work your way to like the French uh, Pro D2, and then you eventually get to the top 14, or you go to like some Celtic divisions, and you get up to, um, and you get up to what's it called, uh, the URC. Now, with my teams, uh, this is kind of like FIFA Ultimate Team, you know? You can customize your kits, uh, everything, jersey, shorts, socks, logo, ball, and your name. One thing that kind of does suck is the name. You can't do your own name. You have to choose from, like, these random um, presets, which is a bit crap, but is what it is. But you can see here, they can get different names, different people, different cards, which have different ratings. So it is a lot like Ultimate Team. But like I said, the UI, like the squad UI, that looks good, like the user interface. This just kind of looks a bit clunky and Rugby 20, I feel like they've taken a big step back from the UI from where it used to be. Um, and then now we would go to like league. Yeah, so you can do leagues here. You can start, you can play in one of these divisions here, um, be one team and like go through a season as one team and make your way to the finals and hopefully win the competition. Basic stuff. Um, yeah, you get like different missions and stuff. Like enough of that. I think we'll just do a quick match. Um, let's go. Let's go with URC team. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna go as let's go Leinster, and then we're gonna play against someone from the top fourteen. I reckon. Bordeaux. You can change the away kits, home kits. Let's go away. Um, 
one thing that does suck is they've added new uh, stadiums, but none of them are licensed. They just made up generic stadiums. So you can see, like, this one, Ripple Stadium, is meant to be I the island um, Aviva. Um, I don't know. They This is, like, a training one that you use in the league. Um, Obsidian Park is meant to be Eden Park, you can see. Um, I think they're just meant to be rip-offs of some stadiums. Let's do Diamond Arena. Um, let's do... Five minute game. Now, one thing about this game is that it is uh, a lot harder. The difficulty is really hard. I've played about five games and I reckon I've only won one or two. Um, oh, I clicked, I meant to press triangle. Anyway, Good evening, but um, Good evening, Nick. hold on, I'm just going to turn this down. It's very loud. Um, but yeah, you can play from the side action like this, like a FIFA game or any other game really, or from behind. I like playing from behind and having the camera a bit further back so I can see the whole pitch. But a lot of people like playing from the side. But kick off. Um, so the game is difficult. I um oh oh my god. Nothing's going to stop him from there. That. As you can see, I uh, wasn't really paying attention there, but um, I'm going to turn the commentary like down to the very bottom. Turn all this down. But, yeah, like, it's one missed tackle, and I think I'm playing on semi-pro. It goes amateur, semi-pro, pro, and, like, legendary, and... Like one of the big complaints a lot of people had about rugby training was the difficulty was too easy and I was winning like every game basically. But they've really stepped it up this game, which is a good thing. That's You really want to learn how to master it. But um, it is a bit frustrating because sometimes you'll fall off a tackle and... Um, uh, and I, I find myself losing a lot of... Um, Losing a lot of rucks. Yeah, see, I've lost right there. You really got that, like, the ruck is a lot harder now, which I, I think personally is a good thing. So you have to put some hours, like, not hours, you have to put some time into the game, get a hang of it before um, trying to master it, which was a lot different than Rugby 20. But... Oh, okay. Um, but, like, like, I still have a few complaints, you know? It's just, like... Um, it just feels like players like the back should have a lot more stamina and they don't and it's um, just stuff like that like they still have the set plays here um, let's have a go let's do let's do double loop get in position but like the gameplay it's not a pretty looking game um, I will we'll not say that but the gameplay really does bring it back. I think it justifies... Um, they really are listening to fans. Like the, I know like rugby games aren't big and everyone's waiting for a day where EA or Konami or 2K um, come along and make a rugby game with some big money. Because right now all we've got is uh, a Rugby Challenge and this rugby series here. And the licensing has always seemed to split between it and it sucks, but... I think give this franchise like, like maybe like next uh, the next um, game they make, and I think it will really good be good. But I think like playing the game far away like this, oh my, what? Why is this guy running like this? Um, give this game you know a few more uh, times to release like rugby twenty twenty four, whatever they come out with next, and I think we can see a big um, improvement because like Rugby 18 was their first release and that was like a pretty low starting point and you could see Rugby 20, the um, you could see the development they made from there and the improvements and um, this is another step forward. But like I said, one of the, it's just, you know, graphics is probably one of the big things that people are missing out on. Um. So, yeah, I'm not very good at this game. But, um, like, it's not 
from a distance like this, it's not a bad game, but when you're up close, you can see the um, player models don't seem that great. Some of the animations are a bit clunky, a bit of clipping when they're doing the celebrations. I'm getting smashed right now as well. Um, that's besides the point. But it is, like, I would like to see Super Rugby, the Premiership England license, you know, Six Nations, the Rugby Championship. I think the next rugby game we're going to see after this is Rugby uh, World Cup 23, which is under development by um, Big, who's the guys that made Rugby League Live. They're making um, a rugby game for the World Cup. And I think that'll be a pretty good one. But until then, this is what we've got. And it is a good game. I, I like it. But, you know, if you don't play rugby or you're not a rugby fan, I don't think I'd recommend this to anyone. Because, you know, it's it's like, you know, FIFA, 2K, Madden, you know, they're all the same. They're all like their own sport, respectively. But um, it's like they're good looking games because they have the budget, you know. Um, rugby 20, you know, the gameplay is good, but I don't think it justifies it if you're not a rugby fan. And it is disappointing because, you know, myself as an Aussie, like we have the Wallabies, but we don't have Super Rugby, um, nothing like that. And like, if I want to play Super Rugby, I have to play Rugby Challenge. But in my opinion, Rugby Challenge 4 was a massive letdown compared to, especially because it was in development for so long. It was basically copy and paste. So... I feel like this isn't the, like, you know, everyone's looking for Rugby 08 from EA. Like, that's the gold standard. But I think this is the best game we've had since uh, Rugby 08, especially for the new consoles and everything. But, you know, if you want to play a rugby game, I definitely recommend getting this if you can go about your teams being licensed and whatnot. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a fun game. But, like I said, like, this UI kind of looks a bit glitchy. Doesn't look that great. The um, licensing is a big sham, but the gameplay does bring it back. Uh, it's hard. It's a it's a difficult game. I, like I haven't um, I've only played a few games, but I've only won like one. Um, so that's a good thing considering how hard easy Rugby Twenty was. But if you guys want to um, leave a like, let me know if you want to see any more videos and uh, any more videos and features from Rugby Twenty Two. Uh, just leave a comment and let me know, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, everyone, and let me know how you're finding Rugby 22 and if you'll buy it or not. And thanks for watching.